Here at Pocket NC, we do our best to take all of our customers' suggestions seriously. With that comes implementing new features and improving on our products whenever and wherever we can. Now, this doesn't stop at our software. The software team has been working on implementing some great new features to improve the user experience. Today's tip is actually several tips on how to use some of these new features. Welcome to Pocket NC's Q-Tip Tuesday. First off, it's important to note that these features were released across a handful of software versions, but they're all available on version 4.6 or higher. So if you haven't already, go update your machine software using the instructions linked in the video description below. With that said, let's get into it. While the jogging controls are pretty clear here on the production tab of the user interface, not all the keyboard jogging functions are as obvious. To help make those functions better known and provide an easier place to reference them in the future, we created this key to illustrate the other ways the machine could be jogged. This next feature is one that I'm really excited about. It allows our users to toggle the automatic tool probing on or off. On the tooling page, you'll find this new section in the bottom left corner of the screen named Tooling Options. This is where you will find the option to toggle Tool Probe on M6 on and off. When turned on, the machine will automatically measure the tool after every M6 command it encounters while running a program. This means that after a program has been paused for a tool change and you press resume, the tool will be measured before the rest of the program is carried out. By default, V250 machines have this feature turned on and V210 machines have it turned off. This new toggle switch allows you to easily choose whether you want it on or off for either model of the machine. If you've done much machining, you've probably experienced a time where your machine didn't cut where you expected it to due to an offset that was still active. That can be frustrating and ruin parts, so we've put in a feature that will help mitigate that problem on the Pocket NC. Now, when there's any offset active for an axis, the G-code affiliated with that offset will show up next to the DRO line for that axis. For instance, if I go to the tooling page and the work offset section and set a negative 2.5 offset for the x-axis in the G54 column by zeroing the DRO, G54 will show up next to the x-axis DRO letting me know that an offset is active. For those of you who have noticed that your z-axis doesn't home at zero after running a program, this feature helps serve as a reminder that it is the last tool's TLO here that is changing the DRO value you're seeing here. The final two new features we're going to talk about today utilize the USB port on the front of the machine. The first one is running G-code off a USB flash drive. Simply plug in a USB flash drive containing the G-code that you'd like to run, navigate to the file button on the production page, and select the USB drive from the drop-down menu. Once the USB drive is selected, you should see the file structure that is on your USB drive and be able to navigate to your desired file. Now it's worth mentioning here that this method is allowing the machine to run the G-code directly off the USB drive, which means the G-code isn't being uploaded to the machine and that if the USB drive were to be pulled out, the machine would eventually stop. If you prefer to have your G-code uploaded and stored on the machine, we suggest using the traditional upload new file button, then selecting your program and selecting open. The second USB feature is one that many of you have been asking for, being able to update the machine's software over USB flash drive. With this new update process, you can go to our software versions page and download a file that contains the newest version of the Pocket NC software onto a USB flash drive. Once that flash drive has been plugged into the machine, you can go to the configuration tab, select version, and verify that the machine has detected the file that you just downloaded. The software files detected on USB window can take up to a minute to show up, but if it doesn't, make sure that the update file you downloaded is saved to the topmost level of your USB drive. Once the window and file appear, click on the file that you want to check for updates and then click check file for updates. After that button has been clicked, any software versions that aren't already on your machine will show up in the software version window. From there, you can simply click on the version you wish to make active and then click save. 
The machine will disconnect and restart in order to apply the new version. Once the machine is completely restarted and connected again, you may need to clear your web browser's cache to see all of the new changes. Well, that pretty much covers what's new with the Pocket NC software. I hope this got you excited about updating your machine and using some of those new features. For more information and detailed tutorials, check out the video description below. As usual, if you have any questions about what you saw today or anything else Pocket NC related, feel free to reach out. Until next time, happy machining.